Hey, I'm Gabby. I'm a lifelong chicken farmer out of North Georgia, and today I want to make a special system to help me do the most important job on my family's farm. Let me start by saying that there are many different types of commercial chicken farms, and my farm's primary purpose is to generate fertilized eggs that are hatched. I have a video called What is Chicken Farming? And in that video, I go over the different types of chicken farms and how they all relate to each other. And there's a link to that video in the description. But the most important job on my family's farm is to collect fertilized eggs. The eggs are collected every day and we have to collect thousands of eggs. I have another video already up discussing how to pick up eggs faster. I built this special wooden frame to help improve the design of the egg table and to allow for faster egg picking. Again, there's a link to that video in the description. But this video is about building a vacuum system to help the egg table and surrounding area stay clean from feathers. Not only do eggs come on the belt, but also chicken litter and feathers. Chicken litter is easy to manage, it's easy to clean up, especially while you're picking up eggs but the feathers go everywhere. This vacuum system I'm going to build is to help minimize the amount of feathers that get all over the place. They're annoying. My design is going to be simple. Above each tunnel I'm going to have one PVC pipe and these pipes are going to be connected to a filter box. Out of the top of the filter box runs another PVC pipe that goes into the ceiling and is then connected to the vacuum. I want the vacuum in the ceiling so that it's not too loud for whomever is picking up eggs. The filter box is there to collect feathers directly in front of the egg picker and not allow feathers to go up into the vacuum. It's a lot easier in my opinion to clean a filter box rather than getting a ladder and going up into the ceiling to clean the actual vacuum. I don't want to show too much of the actual building process because I think it's pretty straightforward. So here is the finished design. It's not pretty and it's not durable, but it actually works. There was enough vacuum to suck up some feathers as they came in on the belt, even though the filter box isn't even completely sealed. The lid doesn't fit on tight anymore, but the system was still able to grab up a few feathers as it came in off the belt. This is version one of the vacuum system and I'm so I'm, I'm gonna call it the prototype because there needs to be a few big improvements when my dad first saw the system the first thing he said was the pipes need to be bigger right now I'm using one inch PVC he said to use two inch at least and I don't mind the idea I will try that second I'm gonna replace the filter box with a box better designed for forming a vacuum this little seven quart Sterilite was never designed to operate in a vacuum, but it did perform surprisingly well. Before making this video, I did not test the vacuum system during an actual egg pickup where we pick up thousands of eggs, but I will in the following weeks and I'll post updates on Facebook or Instagram. I, I like this prototype, but it needs to be beefed up before it can be used on these daily egg pickups. It needs to be more durable and operator friendly. Taking the lid off to clean the filters on this prototype is doable, but not realistic because everything in the, in the filter box is so fragile and is not designed for what I made it into. So it's, it's back to the drawing board for me, and in the future, you are going to see the final version that is work ready. If you like the kind of videos I make and you want to stay up to date on what I'm doing channel wise, you can check out my Facebook page where I try to give you all weekly updates on what I'm going to do for that week. What kind of video I'm going to make or if I'm, on, if I'm just taking a breather and going to be coming back in a few weeks. On Facebook I try to keep y'all updated on what's up channel wise but anyways thanks for watching